Part 2 After Scruffy was sent away from Sodor, a couple of days later, the snow came down. Scruffy laid on an old siding nearby the scrap shed, waiting for his fate. <sighs> I can't believe it. After all these years, I end up here. <sighs> it's so cold. What did you end up here for? What happened to you? I used to work on a heritage railway not far from here, but it closed a couple of days ago. No one wanted to buy me because apparently they saw me as a useless engine. So I was sent here. They cut off my wheels about a day ago. So now I'm waiting here for the end. But you still look useful. Your paint's not all rusted. That's because, like I said, I had an overhaul a couple of weeks, years ago. So this means I'm still in good condition. What about these other engines? Oh. The tank engine and tender engine have been here for a couple of years. I believe since the early 2000s. They were one of the last running steam engines on British rails. What about the rusted one? Nah, no idea. He could have been here since British Railway started withdrawing their steam engines. What about the diesels? The diesels have been here since the 90s. As you know, those type of diesels were outdated back in the early 80s and 90s, as its more modern types started coming out. That poor chap over there was scrapped all the way back in the 80s. <sighs> poor engine. What about that class of over there, the green one? Oh, don't worry, he's still what useful. The scrapyard still uses him, and since classoids are still used, it's just a lot of them were scrapped, like those two that are next to him. Two. You can't see them, but there are two in there. Those two actually used to work here before the green one came. They broke down a few years ago, so they were scrapped. How do you know all this if you've only been here for a couple of days? Some of the diesels here told me, like that green tank tender... No, sorry. <laughs> the old age must be getting to me. The green class of the way told me about him, them. Apparently they were useful, kept the scrapyard going. But now since it's downgraded, now this is all that's left. I'll probably be cut up in the next couple of days. My wheels have already gone. They're in that truck behind me. I'm so sorry. Wait, you're from Sodor? How could you tell? I could see it on your sides. You're from the S.V. Ruffy Company. The Bowers Company. I remember you getting loads of that from Sodor back in the days. Back when I used to work on my old heritage railway. How long did your heritage railway even last? Oh, I was... My heritage railway, I believe, started back in the 60s. And I wasn't brought until the late... I believe the late 70s. And I worked there up until this year. When it finally closed after the whole pandemic stuff happened of two years ago, my company was never able to recover from it. I'm sorry. But what'd you do to get yourself here? I made too many mistakes. Back in the day, I kept teasing the engines, causing accidents, and then I ended up getting torn apart. Wait, you're the famous Scruffy who was torn apart by Oliver? Yes, how did you know? Well, not only could I tell because you're from the S.V. Ruffy Company, I remember my driver telling me about the railway series, including about the TV show in the late 90s. Huh. I remember my driver would bring the TV in and let us watch the VHS tapes. Oh, those were the good old days. I remember your episode in particular, a truck being torn apart then rebuilt. Yeah, that's one thing the railway series didn't do. They never established if I was dead or not. Yeah. But this year I made a huge mistake. I tried starting a truck uprising, but I'm assuming that brake van of Oliver's toad caught onto my plane because I didn't know he was in the yard. I thought he wouldn't be interference, but he did. He must have told Oliver all about it. And I got into a big accident, so Tom had finally had enough of me. So I was sent here. Now I'm just awaiting my fate. That's rough. At least you, at least you had a home. I wish I did. Especially since Thanksgiving will be coming up soon. Oh yeah, I forgot that. Soto is on one of the only parts of the United Kingdom that does celebrate Thanksgiving. Yeah, we do. What was some of the stuff you were thankful for? 
I was thankful to have my friends, my truck friends, Rickety and Fred. Oh, I'm gonna miss them. Including, I was grateful I even had a home. I was given repairs, but I had to be so stupid and made the wrong decisions. I just wish I could take it all back. Ari, you wait here. Okay, Mr. Oliver. I'll never be able to go back. Oi, who's that? I don't know. Wait, Oliver? Yep, it's me. But why? Why are you here for? I came to rescue you, of course. But why? Well, because this is not what I intended. I didn't want you to get sent here for scrap. I was just trying to show you a lesson, is that maybe being troublesome is not good. You literally uncouple me, let me be a runaway, and then you end up letting me crash into Henry. Oh, you know, I wasn't really intending for you to crash into Henry. I was more intending for you to crash into some buffers or something. Oh. Who's this? Oh, he is kind of a friend. A friend? Yeah, a friend. He's been here for only a couple of days, and I don't think he'll have time left. Yeah, I'm going to be hanging for scrap. Well, we can't have that, especially not towards Thanksgiving and the holidays. You're right. You need to be quiet, Mr. Oliver. The diesel might hear you. I think we'll be fine. That diesel's so noisy, he probably couldn't even hear a cricket drop. Alright. Let's get going. Before that diesel wakes up and hears us. Alright, Mr. Oliver, we're clear. Come on, Scruffy, and you two... What's your name? Wendell. Ah, Wendell. Come along. We have to get back to Sodor. Thanksgiving is only in two days. Come on, Sir Topham, when are we going to start the Christmas party? Uh, Thomas, it's November. Oh, I meant, when are we going to start the Thanksgiving party? We've been waiting for almost an hour. Quiet. We're going to wait until Oliver shows up, but if he doesn't show up in the next ten minutes, we are going to start. I'm here, sir. Ah, Ol Oliver. Oliver, what are you doing with Scruffy? And who is that? Oh, that's Wendell, sir. Oliver, why'd you bring back Scruffy? I thought he was sent away in disgrace. He was. Sir, I need to tell you something. What is it? I planned the kind of accident of Scruffy. <gasps> you did what? It was because, sir, Toad told me the trucks were playing an uprising against all of us. So I felt the only way to put Scruffy in his place for him to have a big accident. But I never intended for him to get sent away for scrap. I thought he would just repair him and then he would go off somewhere else. I never wanted him to be sent away. Well, I am very disappointed with you, Oliver. You should have known that was a very dangerous move. What would have happened if Henry's train was carrying fuel tankers or something? And war, what would have happened if you still stayed on that line where Scruffy was a runaway? You could have also been seriously injured, or worse. I know, sir, and I'm sorry. I only ask of this. Please give Scruffy a third chance. I know he's been troublesome, but I do feel like he could change. Indeed, sir, I do believe it as well. Including the fact is, after, you, after Oliver tore him apart was that he did technically behave afterwards, only causing minor trouble. Hmm, 
you're right. Scruffy, if I give you a third chance and repair you, will you be a useful truck and be a good example to trucks all around instead of being troublesome? Uh, yes, sir. Please, sir. All right, then. I will give you one... One third final chance. The next time you mess up, you're out of here. Thank you, sir. I will change. I promise, sir. Let's just see if you can keep that promise. And also, who is this Wendell? Well, sir, he was in the scrapyard you sent me to. His heritage row had closed down recently, and he has nowhere else to go. If he goes back, he'll be cut up for sure. It's true, sir. Hmm. Oliver, once you get take Scruffy and Wendell to the works. Scruffy, you will be repaired in two days. And Wendell, I do not know how long it will take you to get repaired, but we'll see we'll try to get you done before Christmas. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Come along. Oliver, we will start the party, though. It's fine, sir. I'm sure I'll be back. Right then, let's get this party started. Oi, Donny. Yeah, Dougie. Why do bandpipes always sing? Why? Because they Caledonian. <laughs> that joke was terrible. You're terrible. Ah, oh, Oliver, you made it. Yes, sorry about that. It took a while to get them to Corvin's Gate, so I had to travel a while back. It's fine. I think you made the right decision, though, Oliver. Going to save Scruffy and all. Yeah, I did. You were very brave to do it, too, Mr. Oliver. I remember how scared you were on the night we left. So, that was only last night. I know, but I figured I'd mention it. I understand, Oliver, why you were scared. But it was still very brave of you to even go after a truck that we thought you were all enemies. Well, at first we were enemies, but I feel like he was just misunderstood. He was treated like that, so he felt he had to be troublesome. But maybe that's why. Maybe we should all try to be less harmful to the trucks. Yeah, you're right, yeah. You know what, everyone? Let's make an oath. From now on, we will try to be nicer to the trucks. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Agreed. Oi, agreed. Oi, you, there's only one, two pairs of Scottish engines on this island, and that goes to us. Nine. Did you just say nine? No, I meant, no, no, there can be three Scottish engines. Oh, you want to go, eh? <laughs> oh, they're so funny. Indeed. Chop up! Uh, did you steal the Thanksgiving turkey? I did nothing! Oh dear, looks like he's in trouble with his wife. Indeed. Scruffy is now truly a changed truck. He's no longer troublesome like how he used to be. He now sets good examples for the trucks, teaching him how to be good and not mean. Of course he does still cause trouble here and now again, but he has proven that, he, that even trucks can be really useful, or even better, have redemptions. But what of Wendell? Alright, men. We need to start work on Wendell immediately. So Tom Pat said he wants him to be done before Christmas. Boko, do you think they'll be able to get me repaired in time? Of course they will. We have the best workers around here. Alright, let's get working. But, will Wendell return? That's a story for another day.